What's going on YouTube, it's Mitchie, and today what I have for you guys is a defensive strat for how to defend CCTV and cash on Clubhouse. This is one of those sites that has been greatly affected by the 30 second meta. If you don't know what that is, basically, you know, attackers are taking out defender utility and they're setting up their attack, and it really is all, all the gunfights, all the... everything's gonna happen in the last 30 seconds. So what can we do to feed into that meta and use it to our advantage as defenders? Well, you have to set up site the best that you can. Pray for the best, establish crossfires that can be used at the end of the round. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how, to, how I would set up CCTV, the main reinforcements. First you want to reinforce this construction wall, just so that they can't rush in super quickly. I would reinforce these two walls and open this wall to stairs. You can open it completely, or just a little vault a hole, doesn't really matter. Five seconds to insertion. And then obviously the two main walls. We're actually not going to electrify this wall with Kate or Bandit because the floor is completely soft and good organized teams are going to get it regardless with a Buck or an Ash or Sophia even. So ops I would bring, now that we're on the subject, is Smoke, Jaeger obviously. I would bring a Maestro and a mute, they're both very strong. And the last one could be a vigil or a mozzie, someone to roam, like a deep roam. But anyway, so those two walls would be reinforced. This wall is reinforced with a rotate here. Like I said, you can do crouch one, vault one, whatever. Actually, I, I wouldn't make a vault one, either do it all the way to the ceiling or just a little crouch one that you can crouch through. And then we're actually gonna reinforce this wall so that we can rotate relatively safely through that doorway. And then open the top of this so that smoke, so he can get canisters into this back area and onto the wall. And then you're gonna wanna put a deployable shield on this corner. The reason for this is that if they open the wall, this is very scary. They're gonna have to waste a lot of utility getting rid of this deployable shield. Because, you know, it's it's a strong it's a strong position. This is definitely a power position. You know, you can watch garage, you can watch the main the main wall. Definitely put this deployable shield here. So, we've pretty much set up site, like I said, two reinforcements there. That's three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. Definitely reinforce those. Nine. And the last one can go pretty much wherever you want. It's personal preference. But this wall I would definitely set up like this so that smoke can throw canisters, you know, back behind the default plant spot, which is usually behind here or onto the wall. I'm not sure that alibi thing landed. But uh, anyway, so we've set up site. Now let's talk about positioning. So, like I said, smoke, Jaeger, mute, maestro, and then a mozzie or a vigil. So let's talk about the maestro. Maestro cam spots would be up on this desk. That's a really strong spot. You can get it up on that table. And I would definitely keep one in the corner right here of garage. And so maestro, he's going to be on rafters. He's going to try and hold garage as well as if they get the wall open and contest this. I wouldn't peek this angle because attackers are usually prepared for it. They usually preemptively pre-fire it and are peeking it. But anyway, he'll be holding the garage area. And then your Jaeger, I know it's sometimes weird to, to anchor with Jaeger. He's a big chunky boy, he can handle it. So uh, anyway, Jaeger, main wall, behind this deployable shield. Obviously you'd have an ADS on that window, maybe an ADS over there, and then one on construction entrance. Your smoke, I usually play, I typically play smoke on stairs, because red stairs is, it's imperative you hold this. He obviously has a shotgun, he has the SP-11, he has barbed wire, you can set up red stairs perfectly and stop them from coming up. And also he can get his smokes there, and if he gets pushed out of red stairs, you can just, you can just <laughs> rotate back through here, and you're, sa like, you're still able to play effectively from cash. Now mute, mute can either play in cache as well, I would recommend this corner to hold the cache door, 
or you can even play a little soft roam in construction. Let's say with your last reinforcement, you reinforce Lodgy Wall or something. Maybe borrow reinforcement. You know, reinforce these two walls, you can play back in construction. Doesn't really matter. Mute, jammer, placements, I'd say construction door, red stairs. If you if you really want to try and make him burn a little bit of utility, you can place some mute on this wall. But otherwise, garage stairs, and then probably uh, the master bedroom stairs. We'll head over there right now. This is actually, this is probably where I'd play mute. Master. Master of construction. Just a little soft room. Not too crazy. Now your vigil or your mozzie? Mute jammer right here. Your, your vigil or your mozzie? They're going to be on a deep room. All the way in strip club. And the purpose for this is to get flanks on people that are coming to this bar area and are planning to open up the floor beneath. So let's say you get a buck in the stock room. You know, he's trying to break break holes in the floor, you know. Attack our, our anchors. As the vigil of Mozzie, you'd want to get this flank off. If no one's playing downstairs really as attackers, the important thing to remember is they have nothing to gain if we're not really going to contest that wall with any utility. They have nothing to gain from taking stock and, you know, this little area, the lounge area, or even blue, you know, the stairs. It, you know, this doesn't do anything for them. So the main job of the steep roamer is going to be to get flanks off into master bedroom and stop the construction push. And this is a big deal because, you know, the Jaeger is going to be focused on the wall and that window. Smoke's focused on the stairs. Maestro is in garage. Mute's construction or bedroom. And if, if Mute dies, you definitely need to run your ass over here and get the flank before they, before they enter site. Because at that point, the Jaeger is extremely vulnerable. However, you know, if you're if you're a smart Jaeger, if you pay attention and have, you know, the slightest bit of game sense, you'll know, okay, they're coming this way. I should either rotate back here or even I wouldn't, you know, this isn't ideal, but if that wall's not open, it's a red stairs construction push. Rotate back behind the server here. So anyway, the basic idea of the strat hold garage with maestro hold red stairs with the smoke, hold CCTV with Jaeger, you got mute construction master, and then someone on a deep room. I want to show you guys how to establish a late round crossfire with your maestro and your smoke, and I think this is really powerful. So let's say the last two people are out on, uh, on the balcony there, on the main wall, and the smoke, I'm like, okay, you know, they can really only enter here. What I'm going to do is step up here and I'll show you why. If I'm the maestro I'm gonna come from uh, sorry come from garage. I'm gonna step up either here or at least here. I would recommend here and here's why. So I have this whole area we'll ping like the middle and if smoke's here that's what he can see as well, is when they enter the building. The trick here is, as the smoke, to not to not get too far out in front. You can even play here. But basically what you're doing is, in order for them to kill one of you, they're going to have to trade. So if they, if they walk into here and challenge the maestro, the smoke can see them. If they walk in and challenge the smoke, the maestro can see them. So as you can see, it's a two-on-one situation. They're most likely going to die. And it's little things like that that are going to win you rounds. Other crossfires you can set up would be, obviously, you know, smoke here, and then a Jaeger. I'll ping the door. Then a Jaeger, Jaeger turns around and plays here. If the guy enters, smoke has him, Jaeger has him. Boom, it's on lock. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have to say i'm done rambling <laughs> but yeah just hold the main staircases 
hold construction. Don't worry too much about this main wall unless they're trying to push through it. In that case, establish crossfires. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this guy's helped. This helps you guys out. And bye bye.